guys, my name is Laura Klein. I am the Director of Education here at Youth to the People and today we are going to be speaking about all things exfoliation. What is exfoliation? Exfoliation is a naturally occurring process where our skin cells are constantly renewing themselves. The dead skin cells make their way to the surface. For an adult, it takes us about 28 to 30 days for that process to happen. That's when you would start incorporating exfoliating products to help it speed up this process along. There are a lot of benefits to exfoliating. Some of them would be to help combat the look of dullness, dryness, rough patches. If you're an oilier skin type, it might have some congestion. Blackheads are truly just dead skin cells that are getting stuck in that pore. Incorporating exfoliating products are going to help minimize all of those concerns and they're going to help your makeup wear better and all the products that you layer on afterwards are going to penetrate better. Stop over exfoliating. I know it can be tempting, but you only have so many dead skin cells that are going to come off. Remember that 28 to 30 day process. If you're exfoliating every single day with something that's not formulated for daily use, you might be overdoing it. Over exfoliating can lead to a really stressed out skin barrier and we need it to be healthy to protect you from any external irritants from getting in. If you over exfoliate, you can see excess oil production, blemishes, and dry patches. What products are exfoliating? Exfoliating benefits are found in a variety of product formulas. Some commonly found formulations would be cleansers, toners, masks, scrubs, peels, tools, even serums. The list can go on. Within those formulas, you're gonna have two different functions, being either physical or chemical. Let's talk about chemical exfoliants. You might have heard of AHAs, BHAs, and enzymes. AHAs are alpha hydroxy acids. They are water-based acids, typically derived from fruits like corn sugar. What's cool about them is that they're also extremely hydrating, especially a really commonly known AHA called lactic acid. AHAs work by softening the glue that keeps dead skin cells stuck on the surface. BHAs are beta hydroxy acids. They're oil soluble acids that are able to penetrate really deeply into the pore. BHAs are typically recommended for someone who is experiencing blackheads, congestion, or even more problematic skin types. You can alternate a BHA with an AHA. For instance, this morning, I'm getting a little blemish. I put a BHA right on the spot. Enzymes work like little Pac-Man to eat away dead skin. They take the glue that's keeping your dead skin stuck on the surface and eating that away so it can slough off. When you describe chemical versus physical, you're speaking to the function of the product. A chemical exfoliant is something that you're gonna leave on, let it work, and then typically rinse away. Physical exfoliants are kind of what they sound like. They're taking the action of something physical, either a granular ingredient or a tool, to literally sweep and slough away dead skin in this sort of emotion. There are different types of physical exfoliants you should use on your body versus your face. For example, walnut, crushed up sugar, Really large pieces can be harsh for the face, but great for body. For face exfoliation, you really wanna find finely milled materials with smoothed edges. Some really great physical exfoliants would be diatomaceous earth, jojoba beads, bamboo, rice powders. These are all really effective and biodegradable physical exfoliants that are not gonna be too harsh on the skin. When it comes to exfoliating, there are a lot of questions surrounding frequency of use, how often, what type should I use, should I only use one, can I use both, can I use five? It's all about finding balance. There is room for both chemical and physical exfoliants. It's really dependent upon your skin type and the thickness of your skin. Here's a trick to tell how thick your skin is. So what you're gonna do is judge the thickness of your skin by giving your cheek a little pinch along the jawline. If your skin is thin, it'll feel almost like you're pinching your eyelid and your fingertips will be touching. If your skin is medium, you have a little bit of space in between and you can almost tell that your fingertips are there. And if your skin is thicker, you won't be able to feel your fingertips on each side of the skin at all. For example, my skin is thick and when I pinch my cheek, I can't feel my fingertips touching at all. If you're incorporating both a chemical and physical exfoliant, you really wanna take the thickness of your skin and your skin type into consideration. For example, dry skin might love incorporating an AHA that's really hydrating, like a lactic acid. They can use that about two to three times a week and then use a physical exfoliator once a week. If you have combination skin, you might like to alternate an AHA and a BHA every other day or morning and night, and then add in a physical exfoliant up to two times a week. For oily skin, you can handle a little bit more exfoliation frequency. For example, you might want to incorporate an AHA in the day, a BHA at night, alternating them appropriately, and then boost up your exfoliation with a physical scrub up to two to three times a week. Regardless of skin type, if you're experiencing a breakout, do not apply a physical exfoliant directly on an active blemish. 
However, if you are experiencing a breakout, you can incorporate chemical exfoliants like a lactic acid or spot treat with a BHA. Now taking all of that into account, remember that exfoliating treatments are not all created the same. You really want to follow user guides and instructions based on each formulation. Please, please, please wear SPF when you are exfoliating. I cannot stress this enough. Every time you exfoliate, you are exposing new skin cells that are more vulnerable to UV damage. The best way to exfoliate is to find your best combination of exfoliants based upon your skin type, your skin thickness, and sensitivity. Just listen to your skin. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and subscribe for more skin education. Thanks so much for watching.